Hello and welcome back to Visit File Coast. This is, I'm in the middle of the road again, look, me, me and my roads. This is a very interesting story from a very interesting guy. And it's about a, a Fleetwood invention and a Fleetwood, I think it's going to be a big success story. Um, possibly, possibly even to rival the neighbours, which is which is fisherman's friend. I think it's somewhere over there. <laughs> I think I think it's that way. Um, and it's in it's a story of converting fish waste into fertilizer, but not just any fertilizer. This is the fertilizer that's got the power. It's got the power to transform the way that soils function and the way that agriculture works and I've just had a really interesting chat with this guy so I'm going to go and show you the potter version I'm going to show you where it's made and what they do all from this interesting little spot in Fleetwood come with me and we'll go and see so you're probably wondering where on earth I am well just down there this is Sidings Road and just down there at the end of there, behind that little white van, is Asda. And just over the other side of there is Affinity. Affinity Lancashire. And I'm sure you've been there. I'm sure you've been there at some time in the past. And this is the, the sort of industrial area of Fleetwood, where all kinds of interesting things happen. And this is the story that we're going to go and take a look at. It's a company called Bioco Agri. Now, I met Steve, the guy that owns the company, oh, it must be about six, six or so years ago, at a Wired Up business meeting. And he told me all this story about how they were making a transformative fertiliser from fish waste. And it's all this time later that he's finally gone through all the processes and everything that he needed to do in order to convert fish waste into fertilizer, which is shipped out to customers in these tanks. Now, ironically, we've also, he's also given Cleveleys one of these tanks to use as a water harvesting hopper. So I said I would come and have a look and see what he's doing, because it's a very interesting story. And we're gonna go inside and we're gonna go and take a look. So this is free from chemicals, it's bio-refined, it's a patent pending, and it's a product that restores depleted soils rather than just fertilising what's growing, what's growing there and then. It's got all the essential micronutrients, all the major trace elements, amino acids and organic matter, and it's a 100% organic regenerative fertilizer so there you go that's cops road that's the tramway look at the back of there so that kind of orientates you to to where we are i think fisherman's friends if i'm right is oh i'm pointing completely the wrong way fisherman's friends is that way i've got no sense of direction ever so that's where we're gonna go and have a look so Steve's past history starts in the in the fishing industry, which was quite interesting. And apparently his dad was known as Stormy Steve, and he was the last fisherman in Fleetwood. So they've got a long family history of fishing and going to sea and spending, you know, hours on end trying to catch catch catchers. And they were selling really expensive fish to really expensive restaurants so they're busy packing langoustines up and all this kind of thing and at the same time at the same time steve was laying alone steve was laying alone in his back garden and and after 12 months the the lawn seed died so he said to his dad look at this lawn what do you think i should do with this and they started talking about how it, back in the day everybody used to use the fish waste to feed pigs and to, to fertilise the land. And one thing that Steve's told me today that I didn't know, you've probably seen our video about Skipple Creek and 
up at Skipple Creek, there's a marina, there's a, there's a boat club. Well, apparently that, 200 and odd years ago, was the site of a fertiliser, fish fertiliser processing plant. 200 and odd years ago at the marina. So Steve started looking at how he could make fertiliser from the fish waste from the langoustines that he was packing up and, and, and sending out. And I'm sure if you're a gardener, you'll have used fish blood and bone as well. And you'll be familiar with how, how well it makes your plants grow. So enter Biocore Agri. So this is a long time later, a lot of late nights, a lot of money. It's all self-funded. And there's been a huge amount of research and testing and data collection and all the rest of it. And now we've ended up with, with Biocore Agri. So this processes quality fish waste that comes from sustainable fisheries and it makes it into a completely organic regenerative fertilizer. So it's got all of the nutrients and all of the all of the goodness in it that the plants need to grow properly. So it arrives as frozen fish waste, which is stored in these freezer containers. Stored in these containers. And then it comes into this processing plant. So they've actually built, they've designed, built, manufactured, worked out and made all this equipment themselves. So it's minced, the fish is sort of minced in this machine here. And then it's cooked in the cooker, because it says cooker on it there, look. And then the processed fish is taken into this, into this hopper area. The only thing that you can smell in this area is cleaning products. And I didn't expect a slight fish odour, but there is absolutely none at all. So there are three of these big three of these big hoppers and these each contain 12,000 litres which is 12 of those big white containers so the the product the the secret the top secret source is allowed to do whatever it does in this tank I have no idea I have no idea what the detail is and then it's drawn off and canned into the into the white containers and used used for delivery and this is the rolls royce version of fish blood and bone and i'm sure as i said if you're a gardener you'll have used fish blood and bone yourself in in your own garden i certainly have and fish blood and bone apparently is destroyed to the point that a lot of the nutrients are lost so it's, it's literally the grot and the waste from the the food processing industry and it's heated to a point that a lot of the the nutrients the micronutrients are just they're just denatured so even though it's a good product to use and it's more environmentally friendly than slapping something chemical on your garden it's still not going to give the same results this is fish blood and bone on steroids there's no steroids in it that's just a euphemism. It's just a, it's just an analogy. Currently, these these products are being used by local authorities. So there's a sample gone out to all the wiring bloom teams. We've had a sample in Cleveland. The local councils are using them in their parks and gardens departments. There's quite a few. Um, sort of golf courses and that kind of thing. Small commercial users that are, are putting it on, on gardens and growing areas. And there are currently really extensive trials going on in proper full-scale field farming environments. So you never know, eventually, this from Fleetwood might be fertilizing the, the crops that you used to make your breakfast cereal that would be very good wouldn't it and the the good thing about this let me just try and climb over here without breaking me down 
The good thing about this is that it also helps with extracting carbon out of the atmosphere. It helps soils to improve the quality and to absorb water. So it also prevents a lot of pollution and runoff as well when um, people are fertilising the fields so you get less algae blooms in the sea. So it's a huge, huge area. I've tried to give you the potted, the potted version of um, what it is, how it's made and why it's good without giving you a full PhD in science because I think you could practically do one of them to be honest. There's even, there's even foot baths look to make sure that your feet are clean when you come in in and out. You could eat your dinner off the floor. Spotless it is. So I think I'm gonna go and see if I can find Steve now and get him to just say something. He's very shy. <laughs> so this is the man behind the miracle. This is Steve. This is the, the guy which is responsible for it all. And you came out, you came out of the sea, didn't you, Steve? I laughed when I saw this, <laughs> this paper bag on the wall in the office. Look at this. He's, he's, even, got, he's even got a fish in the office. I, I dread to think what's on the other end of that. And you're the one that's going to revolutionise Fleetwood. We're going to, we're going to try to. You're going to try yeah, to? Going to, yeah, a nice well, opportunity to do something really nice out of the sea. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, Fleetwood and Fish aren't. It's not over. New Fish Park and what we're up to. Yeah. yeah. There's a future in Fleetwood. I sea. think you've got a big future in Fleetwood. I think you'll be, I think you'll be excellent. I'm going to leave him because he's getting all stressed. <laughs> Told me, he told me all the story about his, his fascinating uh, look. He's even got a business award at the back of the hand sanitizer. Told me all about his fascinating business with such animation and passion. And then, as soon as I pointed the camera at him, he went all shy. So, that's a, a Fleetwood story. And in these side streets around Fleetwood, there are no end of little stories where people are carving out a career and making a living and doing all kinds of interesting things. But this one, this one is one to watch, I predict. I think this will be, I think this will be something that you'll be seeing on Country File and all over probably. And I think it's going to be a, a, a big salvation for the agriculture industry. So I hope you've enjoyed that little look around. It's something very different to what we would normally do very different but there's loads of businesses that fascinate me so i thought we'd come and give it a give it a look so make sure that you subscribe make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications and don't forget to subscribe for your visit file coast email newsletter and until next time we will see you again bye for now <laughs>